Okay, so we're back. I'm going to go ahead and open this folder here and take a look. We've got our folders, one, two, three, and our miscellaneous. So there's our images. These are our raw photos, which we organized previously. And here's our miscellaneous. And inside this miscellaneous folder, we have the uh, white card and the gray, or gray card, whatever you want to refer to it as. Um, so we're going to just take these two, drag them out on the desktop, and we're going to pick one of these and throw it in this first folder. So this one here, um, let's look at that again. You can see there's blurry there along this edge here, so that's a little blurry. Let's take a look at this one here, and that one looks much better, a little sharper. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, select this image, um, and I'm going to throw that in the first folder here. And so we have our 36 images that we had before, plus this one of the white balance. So I'm going to select all these, and I'm literally just going to drag them all into Photoshop here. And what this is going to do is this is going to open up a program called uh, Adobe Camera Raw. And Adobe Camera Raw, or ACR, is actually a just kind of a program within a program, if you will. It uh, lives inside of Photoshop. Um, and if you're not familiar with dealing with RAWs, you probably haven't seen it before. Uh, but it's a pretty handy little tool for processing raw photos. Uh, there we go. So you can see our images loading up on the left side there. And it's going to take just a minute. There we go. Keep going. And in the middle there, you can, of course, see the, uh, the image. On the right side, we have um, our white balance information and a whole bunch of other information about the photos. And we also have little tabs or buttons across the top that we can work with. So um, here's our white balance, which is kind of what we're most concerned with at this point. You can see our temperature and, of course, the tent. And here on the Under Lens Correction tab, I'm going to click Remove Chromatic Aberrations. And this is really important when you're processing HDR photos. Um, it, it, the process lends itself to creating a lot of chromatic aberration. So by checking this, we're going to hopefully remove as much as possible. So let's go back to White Balance. So I'm going to click the White Balance uh, tool here. And we're going to select the gray card, and we're just going to click there, and that's going to adjust our white balance. So you can see it's custom now on the right side. And that moved the temperature to 8100 with a negative 19 tent. Um, you can see all the different options here. Um, so there's fluorescent, and we have auto and daylight and all those different settings that your camera would normally do for you if you weren't doing raw. So I'm going to click this again here, and 8200 seems a little bit high. I'm not crazy about the way this is looking. Um, so let's look at a few other options. There's auto that brings our temperature down to 7100, moves the tent to zero, which I'm a little more comfortable with. Um, go back to the way it was shot, 4211. And I'm looking at the light there, for example, um, just trying to get a good feel for the correct white balance. And the best way to do this sometimes, uh, you can use your gray cards, but even then, sometimes I just will play with the photo. In this case, we're going to go ahead and select all, uh, and we're going to apply this, these settings that we've done to this one image to all the images. And then we're going to click the Save Images button. And we're going to select our photo, put these back in, in uh, the folder number one, which is on our desktop. And I'm going to create a new folder within that folder, and I'm going to call this TIFF. And this may not make a whole bunch of sense at this point, but it, it will as we move forward. So I've created a, a blank folder called TIFF where I'm going to save these processed raw images. And of course, when I process them, I want to make them into a TIFF. Um, and the reason we use TIFF uh, is because it's a lossless format as opposed to JPEG, for example. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And you can see here at the bottom, it's processing 37, 36 remaining. So I'm going to go ahead and click done, and it, it continue, excuse me, it'll continue to process even though we click done. You can see here um, the process is continuing. So basically, these are going to process, and when these are all done, we'll have a set of TIFFs in um, our folder ready to to move on to the next step. So I'm going to go ahead and pause for a minute. So we're back, and you can see our images here are just finishing up. Okay, let's go ahead and close Photoshop, and there we go. So here's our, uh, excuse me, here's our raw folders, excuse me, our raw images. 
and we're just going to take this miscellaneous and put it back into the folder here and we'll go into the first folder and we'll grab that same gray card image we'll drag it back to the to the desktop and we'll go ahead and put that back in the miscellaneous folder as well there we go so we're back in our number one folder you can see our raws here this is our original raws uh, or one of the original raws and this is the cab file as is commonly referred to and this basically has all the data for for the photos uh, for the raw files and the changes that were made so we'll go over here there's our new tiff folder that we created within this uh, number one folder and there's all our TIFFs. So now we no longer have the RAWs. We're going to start working with the TIFFs, which is what, exactly what we need for the next step in this process. So we'll get this guy out of here. We can literally just throw that away. We don't need that gray card image anymore. We we're just using it for the uh, white balance settings and whatnot. So there's our images. Uh, we're all set and we're ready to move on to the next step here.